What's up? Today we're going to make animated arrows. I'm going to show you how to do it in After Effects. We've got a 1920 by 1080 composition here. We're going to go to Layer, New, I'm going to create a new shape layer. So I'm going to get the pen tool from the top and we're just going to drag a nice little path. So right now we have our fill on. We're going to just go to No Fill. We're going to click on the stroke, select Solid Color. And now you can see, we can see our glorious path. I'm just going to finish drawing this. Might give it a little like, curve, a little loop-de-loop, -loop, and maybe we'll get it to point down. So that's our path drawn. I might just bring this and drag this one. Perfect. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to just add an arrowhead to this path. So first we'll name this um, arrow trail. And then we're going to go layer, new shape layer. And we're going to call this one arrow head. Next, we're going to grab the um, polygon tool. And we're going to drag a polygon. So it's going to be a five sided shape. If we go to our arrow head contents and go to the polystar, go to this polystar path, we get a whole bunch of options. So here we can change how many sides the shape has. We're just going to do three for a simple arrow head. Um, we're going to go no stroke, but we are going to give it a fill this time. And I'm going to go to our uh, pan behind or anchor point tool, click that, and hold down control, double click that. You can see it's moved the anchor point into the center of our triangle, which is going to be really handy for scaling. Next, we're going to go S for scale, bring this down, press V, move it over here. And we'll just R, I'm just going to rotate that 180 degrees. And there we go. A nice big exaggerated arrow. We might just bring this down to 40%, 30. Yeah, that's looking, that looking all right. So now we have this arrow path drawn. And what, next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the arrowhead to the trail. So right now, it's not connected. So what we want to do, right? So you want to actually trace this path. So we're going to go up to our window. We're going to go to create nulls from paths. We get this new window pop up. Remember that. Now we're going to go to arrow trail, go to the contents to the shape, and we're going to go to the path and we're going to highlight this path. Now we're going to click trace path. Now that that's gone and done that thing, if we scroll through the timeline now, we can see this null objects now on our screen and it traces the path of our object. Amazing. We're going to click U, see all its keyframes, and we can see it's got a new progress um, attribute. We're going to go to the end of that and that's when the uh, keyframe, the null objects at the end of our path where our arrowhead is. We're going to grab our arrowhead and we're going to grab the pick whip and parent that to the trace path. So now when we play, if we just drag this timeline out a bit and we'll extend this to about maybe three seconds, you can see the arrowhead follows the shape of the path. So that's most of the animation done. Next, we just want the path to actually animate behind it. So we're gonna go to our arrow trail, um, select that, we're gonna go add, and we're gonna do trim paths. So now if we look at this trim path attribute, uh, we go trim paths down and we got these start and end values. So we can start and end the path, different percentages along the path. What well, all we need to do though, if you want to attach it, is if we take this um, end value and we can kick whip just that value and link that to the progress value of the null object. So now if we zoom back, we can see that the path animates behind that null object, which is also animating with the arrowhead. One issue we have though is once it gets to the end, the animation starts again, not because it's ended the timeline, but because this uh, progress attribute is looping. So if we go down to the expression section and we just grab all this, and just delete all that. Now when we play it, it won't loop. It should just go through the path and bang, it's done. Easy as that. So yeah, that's how you make animated parts. I'm sure you can do a lot with them. So you're welcome. Here's a couple of different examples of different things you could also make. Whoa.
And um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like and subscribe, use an arrow if you can't find it. And um, I'll see you next time. Check out my other videos. I'll make more eventually.